Okay, so you're thinking about advertising on LinkedIn, but you have no idea if it's good or not for your business. Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today we're gonna to talk about LinkedIn advertising and is it right for you? LinkedIn is a great place to be. I am pretty darn adamant about using LinkedIn for personal branding, for posting and for getting exposure, but also the advertising can be great as well, but you really need to know how to use it. Recently, I was running some ads on LinkedIn and um, for $3,000, I was able to get a couple hundred people to show up to a webinar that I was doing. There is definitely a benefit to advertising on LinkedIn. It's important to know that over 75% of the population on LinkedIn makes $50,000 a year or more. So LinkedIn has an excellent demographic. It has some amazing targeting abilities and I'm gonna jump more into that in a moment. So the first step for getting started with LinkedIn is to sign up for Campaign Manager. And Campaign Manager is gonna give you this nice dashboard that's gonna give you a look at clicks and interactions with your ads. It's gonna show you the demographics that you're advertising to. It's a standard kind of dashboard for uh, online advertising. So first step, get set up with that. Step number two for getting going with LinkedIn is choosing an ad format that works for you. Ad format one is sponsored content, and sponsored content is content where you've actually posted it, usually through a LinkedIn business page, and you're going to be sponsoring that, meaning you're going to be promoting it to show higher in the feed, right? So that would be looked at as a native ad, and this can be a great way to promote a blog post, it can be a great way to promote some type of URL from your website where you're trying to get more uh, exposure. So sponsored content, one of the simplest ways to advertise on LinkedIn. Now there's two more things you need to know about sponsored content. For sponsored content, you can also hook those up to a LinkedIn lead gen form. So that means somebody can click a button and then they can pull their information from LinkedIn and that can be submitted directly to you, making a really seamless and easy process to capture somebody's information. So that's one thing that's really important. But in addition to that, LinkedIn also has the ability to do video ads now through sponsored content. So that's pretty new, pretty much brand new, and that's gonna allow you to get way more eyeballs on your video content, which can be really, really big in a B2B advertising space such as this. So highly recommend you try both of those, the lead generation forms and the video ads. Now the second format is something called a sponsored in-mail. So you, you may not have known this, but you can actually send an in-mail to somebody as an advertisement. These generally have really high open rates because they basically look like somebody sending you a message. So a sponsored in-mail is another way to advertise through LinkedIn. And then the third option is just your standard text ads. So you can have a text ad that shows on the right hand side of the page on LinkedIn. And in some cases, somebody might click that. Now, what I've seen from my own experience is that if you try to just run like a basic text pay-per-click type of ad, like click here to get digital marketing services, those generally don't work very well on LinkedIn. But what might work well um, outside of that, so something a little bit different would be um, a download for a free guide or some type of content you know, download play. In that case, we're seeing some pretty good execution there or even the webinar example that I brought up earlier. You know, sign up for this free webinar, you're gonna learn a good amount. So generally, a micro type of conversion is gonna work well for those text ads. Okay, so we talked about choosing your ad format, but now it's time to create your ad. And, and the ad is gonna be really, really important on LinkedIn. If you don't have a great ad, and this is a general thing with most online advertising, but in LinkedIn in particular, you're gonna get just terrible, terrible ROAS, return on ad spend, if you do not have the right ad format. The, the reason being that nobody on that platform wants to be sold super hard, and then in addition to that, it can be really, really tricky to get affordable cost per click. So it can be really expensive there. In some cases, you know, you could be spending anywhere between, you know, five and fifty dollars for a click. There, it's it's a very, very expensive network because the the targeting is so good. And you know, just for comparison, if you're looking like at a Google AdWords or something, you know, usually anything in the twenty to forty dollar per click is, is as expensive as it gets, and it can even be higher than that on LinkedIn. So you have to have a really good ad 
I, I mentioned having a very soft kind of micro type of ad strategy. So I recommend you go that route, getting people in that way and, and kind of just trying to get their attention and then nurturing them through your lead generation process is really gonna be the best way to go. So now you're gonna choose your selection criteria and you can choose to select people to advertise to by location. You can choose to uh, advertise to people based off of the company that they work at. So the specific company, um, you can advertise to them by their title. There are so many cool ways to target people. And for us, you know, we generally are getting in front of B2B, right? So B2B, CMO, director of marketing, uh, marketing managers, you know, the, that. So for me in particular, I could target those specific people at specific companies through LinkedIn. Now, keep in mind, you could have a very high cost per click to have it be that niche, but your returns could also be very good. So for you, if you're looking for a certain company, you're looking for a certain type of person in a certain location with a certain title, you can do that on LinkedIn. So very, very powerful, but expensive in some cases, and you really need to have the right ad format and ad creative to make it work. Now there's also one other type of targeting criteria that you can do on LinkedIn and that's remarketing. So for example, our blog ignitevisibility.com, we get about 80 to 100,000 visitors per month. So out of those people, they could go to LinkedIn and I could remarket ads to them. I could show them case studies on how great of a job we've done for clients and things like that. So I strongly believe that remarketing is something all businesses should be doing. I won't go too deep into it, but there's a lot that goes into remarketing. So if I set a remarketing pixel from a blog post, that might not be as effective as setting a remarketing pixel for somebody who goes to my contact page and then goes to LinkedIn, right? But maybe they didn't complete the full checkout or maybe they go to a service page and then I'm remarketing to them after that. That is gonna be more effective than a different area Perhaps they wrote a blog on Instagram and somebody read it, they're not gonna be as qualified. So remarketing on LinkedIn can be very, very powerful and think about how to do that strategy in a way that's gonna have the biggest impact for your bottom line and not uh, break the bank. Okay, so now we're looking at step number five and that's your budget, right? And so LinkedIn has a couple different ways that you can, you can do your budget. So you can do cost per click, you can do cost per send, so that in-mail option that we talked about earlier, and then you can also do cost per impression. So you do have those three different options there. Um, so pick the one that's the best for your business, and in most cases, you know, you're gonna be doing the cost per click or the cost per send. That's what most people will select in, in a general ad agency or, or marketing department. Some interesting stats that you might wanna think about. 80% of B2B marketing leads that come from social media come from LinkedIn. Think about how important that stat is. So we definitely get a lot of leads from it and I know that you can too. So think about how important that is for that to be the network that you're focusing on if you're in B2B. Also, 92% of B2B marketers use that platform other, over other platforms. So 92% of B2B marketers are on there and using it daily. So that's definitely uh, something you gotta keep in mind. So there's a lot that goes into LinkedIn advertising. I believe that the targeting abilities there are just gonna get better and better. And currently with uh, Bing and Microsoft integrating with LinkedIn, you can expect to have more cool things rolling out such as in-market audiences, which are already kind of part of the Bing network, but will also be integrated with LinkedIn in the future. They're working on it. It's gonna become a better and better platform. They're looking at different and innovative ways to do advertising on it. And it's definitely something you should test. Over the last couple years, historically, it's been kind of expensive for people to get a return that allows it to be a sustainable lead generation channel. That being said, I do think that that's changing. And with introducing remarketing as part of LinkedIn, that is going to make it a platform that a lot more people are going to be using. So definitely give LinkedIn a try. Don't quit on it yet. And I believe in almost all cases, if you put in enough time, you can make it so that a channel actually works for you from a digital marketing perspective. I definitely think that's the case with LinkedIn. So put some time into it and I hope that you figure it out and you create a great lead generation channel. So that's it for this Ignite Visibility University. Make sure to like and to comment and I can't wait to see you for the next one in the future. Have a great day.